Hey, Joe. Uh, sorry if it's taking me so long to get back to you on this. Um, I've had a little bit of personal stuff going on that has disrupted uh, quite a bit of my workflow. So I've just moved all my computer stuff to the shop and um, just figured out that I can voice over right here in, Lumi, in Luma Fusion. So I wanted to tell you about this. So what I've done here is I took a shape of a circle and, or, or of a sphere and I added a modifier to it, a, a repeater. And then you can just slide out how you want these points, kind of like a vector design and make that shape into whatever you want. Now you can sculpt that shape you can just make it out of, you know, a repeating pattern of spheres. Um, but that was kind of like the closest shape that I could get to kind of what I was seeing in your, in, in your paintings. And I'm sure that there's a way that we could do it based on just the silhouette of a brush stroke, right? So if we make one stroke and then make that into the 3D shape, uh, then that would be a that would be the place to start now <clears throat> what I'm gonna show you in here is is just the the repeating functions of nomad and you can you know taper it you can make one side bigger one side smaller it does a smooth taper um, there's not as much randomization capabilities so in something like blender right you can uh, you can put it into code where it makes a, um, like a fractal based on a mathematic equation starting from this initial basic shape that you have. So, <coughs> a lot of power in both. I thought I'd put this together for you and um, see if it was something that you might be into. Uh, I'm getting ready to make a product kind of like this just for like other like snakes and octopus tentacles and stuff. Um, but this is basically how to do it, right? You just start with a sphere or you can really start with any shape and then you go into the layers and you add a modifier to it and that modifier is going to be a repeater. Um, and yeah, then you just kind of work it into shape. So I'm gonna let the music play and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon about this and I'll get on the animated one pretty quick this week uh, and we'll go from there. Thanks, man. Sorry about the lack. Bye. 
Okay, so we made the shape, we turned the shape into space and cloned it. Um, we remeshed it, or we're, I guess, remeshing it right here. And then we're gonna go on and I'm gonna show you how to use this shape and then you just add another repeater to it and it'll make a whole chain that again, you can, you can uh, taper or make into whatever you want. Now, I think it's probably a little bit structured for what you're doing. I like the real random aspect and that's kind of why I would look into something where um, we can add a fractal image to it or a fractal, uh, a fractal uh, equation to it. And I'll try that out next. I'll see if I can figure something out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna add a link below. Uh, it's a video you should check out. If I didn't show it to you before, it's this guy's doing 4D design in Blender and they are uh, taking like a Mandelbrot fractal and spinning it in space and then taking a cross section of that and then spinning that. And it makes these like cool little really weird platforms. And um, I don't know exactly how to apply it yet, but it's, you know, like any fractal, you're just using your, sh you're just taking this one shape that you've made that you've spent the time to perfect and then adding it with all these, you know, repeaters or equations, you're adding the math to it, um, you know, that lets you know we're living in the simulation. And, uh, and so I'm gonna link that below and I'm sorry it took so long to get back to you, but uh, here you go. This is just like a quickie on Nomad. Definitely worth it if you're doing anything kind of like in 3D or in space or if you need to make like repeating patterns or if you're doing like, um, you know, I know you have like kind of the, I think they're like the geometric, they're not, they're like the stars in the middle or the, the background stuff. Um, <clears throat> not necessarily geometric, but like light balls and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, all that stuff can be made in here so easily that like the perspective gets super real very quick. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of just part of what I wanted to share with you. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it. And I'm going to get on to trying something like this in Blender soon for you. And, uh, also, oh yeah, also the animated one. I'll have, I'll be on that this week. So take it easy, man. Enjoy the rest of it. And this is just a pretty basic, like rundown of it. And, uh, I'll talk to you soon.